Bird. Welcome to the Kiwanis Reading Corner. We are here at Dozier Medical Atlantic Avenue, where I am a doctor. I would like to read to you today a, one of my favorite books called The Rabbit Listened by Corey Dorfeld. It's about a little boy who makes a creation and then it all goes wrong. One day, Taylor decided to build something. Something new, something special. Something amazing. Taylor was so proud. But then, out of nowhere, things came crashing. The chicken was the first to notice. Cluck, cluck, what a shame. I'm so sorry, sorry, sorry this happened. Let's talk, talk, talk about it, cluck, cluck. But Taylor didn't feel like talking, so the chicken left. Next came the bear. Angry. Let's shout about it. Gar, rar, grar. But Taylor didn't feel like shouting, so the bear left. The elephant knew just what to do. Trump it up. I can fix this. We just need to remember exactly the way things were. But Taylor didn't feel like remembering, so the elephant also left. One by one, they came. The hyena, hee hee, let's laugh about it. The ostrich, go, let's hide and pretend nothing happened. The kangaroo, tisk tisk, what a mess, let's throw it all away. And the snake, shh, let's go knock down someone else's. But Taylor didn't feel like doing anything with anybody. So eventually, they all left until Taylor was alone. It was so sad. In the quiet, Taylor didn't even notice the rabbit, but it moved closer and closer until Taylor could feel its warm body. Together, they sat in silence until Taylor said, please stay with me. The rabbit listened. The rabbit listened as Taylor talked. The rabbit listened as Taylor shouted. The rabbit listened as Taylor remembered and laughed. The rabbit listened to Taylor's plans to hide, to throw everything away, to ruin things for someone else. Through it all, the rabbit never left. And when the time was right, the rabbit listened to Taylor's plan to build again. I can't wait, Taylor said. It's going to be amazing. Look at that. That's the end of our story by Corey Dorfeld. So, Thank you so much for reading with me today. I wanted to add a little message about what we can do when big feelings seem to creep in and ruin our time. There are a few things that I like to encourage kids to do. One is to get outside. On nice days when the sun is shining, playing outside can heal a multitude of hurts. Another thing that might be helpful is talking to a trusted adult, whether that's a mom or a dad or a teacher. Sometimes grown-ups have ideas and ways of fixing things that can help us handle big feelings. And other times when we just wanna be by ourselves, we can color or we can write about it. And sometimes by creating something new, those feelings can get better. Thank you so much for reading with me today. 
and I'd like to give a shout out to my two favorite readers, Harper Grace and Augie. Mommy loves you very much.